Vita with Knox Video, and today we're here with Anthony Rumble Johnson. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing really good. Who do we have here? Oh, we got my man right here, Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls? Yes, Biggie Smalls right here. Say what's up to the world, Biggie Smalls. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this, 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 this is the new breed right here. It's called a French Stem, produced by Anthony Johnson and Damon <laughs> But, uh, you know, this, is, this ain't a pit bull or nothing like that, you know, and, and I usually raise pit bulls and stuff like that. But this is a French Stem, which is a... Uh, French Bulldog mixed with a Boston Terrier. Okay, One of these so new switching little, it up. Yeah, I'm trying to switch it up. I'm getting, you know, these right here, you know, they look like a real man's dog. <laughs> you know, look, at, look at his head, big head, nice chest, big bone arm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> not too dog. big, not too small. Yeah, he's a beast. <laughs> he's a beast. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> so, you have a fight coming up with Yoshida. Um, now, how are you planning on standing and stopping in that fight with his submission game? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Yoshida's good. He has really good judo, mm -hmm. you know. But um, as far as stand-up, I don't think he can really do too much that I haven't seen as far as stand-up. I mean, I work with Kung Lee and, and the fighters at Ush all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kung tries to take me down. And he might get my leg, but, man, he works hard, hard to, get it down. to get a takedown, yeah. which all of my teammates work really hard. And we have wrestlers in my gym. We have straight stand-up fighters in my gym. We have a mixture of stand-up fighters slash wrestlers all at the same time. Mm -hmm. So those guys know how to really mix it up. And, um, you know, when I train with them and they can't take me down, not not just because I'm bigger than them, but they, cause they do have the skills to take me down and the knowledge and everything they need right. to, to so take me down. So it probably helps your confidence it, too. It helps me a lot because, you know, I have my teammate James Terry. Mm -hmm. He wrestled at Arizona State. Okay. You know, Division One. uh, all American. Yeah. And he's he's a legit he's wrestler. Solid. Yeah. He, yeah. And he has a hard time taking me down, even though I'm bigger than him. And but we fight the same weight class. Right. You know. And then Kung, of course, everybody knows who, yeah. who he is. Yeah. And when Kung grabs my leg and he tries to take me down, it's it's a war between me and him. It's like chain wrestling. He'll make a move and then I make a move, and then he try to capitalize off the move I made, then I try and capitalize off yeah. the move he made. So it's it's as far as the stand up and takedowns, I'm not really worried about that, you know what I mean? I'm just uh, focusing on me and doing what I need to do. What you do in your strength? Yeah. Okay. So I know you're not the biggest fan of um, jiu-jitsu or how, who are you training with right now to help you, you know, be really solid in that? Is James Terry um, one of them or is there other people? I mean, I train with my team overall once again, but mm -hmm. um, Josh Thompson helps me out a lot, okay. you know, with the MMA and, and jiu-jitsu part and um, it's, uh, it's coming along. Yeah. You know, uh, we have a really good jiu-jitsu instructor, Paul Schreiner. Uh -huh. And, uh, sorry, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Paul Schreiner is our, is our, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu instructor. I haven't really worked with him that much yet, but I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I know I need to evolve as far as a fighter, not just as far as my stand-up. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have seen my stand-up, but they haven't seen my ground. I'm not bad, but I'm not great. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll admit it. I'm not going to say I'm just awesome brown belt or anything like yeah. that. You know, I, dude, I'm just a regular fighter. Yeah. You know, I just want to be successful. Yeah. Okay. So this past weekend, I believe it was the Gracie Open in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And how did you enjoy that? Did you meet any interesting people or have any stories to tell Um, them? I went. A yeah. friend of mine, um, Chad, you know, we ride our bikes together. Uh -huh. And uh, he, his friend is Miguel. And I think Miguel is part of Open Door Jiu Jitsu or something like that. Uh -huh. I, it was I, that's a name that I remember seeing at the time. Okay. So I don't know if he's part of that gym or not. But um, Miguel competed, and um, some of the other guys that ride bikes with us, mm -hmm. their cousins competed with. Uh, they they trained with some of those guys. Trained with Half Gracie. Oh, okay. So I saw I met a good bit of the Half Gracie mm -hmm. fighters, and um, I met Half for the first time, and a uh, little guy. Yeah. I it would be bigger, <laughs> you know? But he's tiny. And uh, they were really cool. Yeah. Everybody was really cool. And the uh, overall uh, tournament was pretty good. Uh, there were some guys really going at it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, maybe. Does it hype you up to see that and getting ready for the fight? Uh, no, not really. Not really? Yeah, there's no punches thrown. <laughs> oh, you know? I mean, yeah. It's just jujitsu grabbing and yeah. pulling and twisting and stuff like that. But but I respect it. I, yeah. I really do respect jujitsu. I'm just not a big fan of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I know I need it. And I gotta have it. Yeah. So, it, it's coming along. 
it's good to see, good to follow. Yeah, 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 it's cool. Okay. Now, you recently did a movie in Pittsburgh, right? Yeah. Um, so what was your character in the movie, and um, when is that going to be coming out? Um, I played um, Orlando Midnightly in yeah. the movie. And um, Kong was supposed to be in the movie with me. Yeah, I thought. And uh, that's why I get leave from in the movie. Uh -huh. Kong, in the movie, Kong was supposed to adopt me oh, okay. in the movie. And uh, they just, somebody, my parents left me on his doorstep. He came home at the middle of the night from a date or whatever. Uh -huh. And uh, he found me on his doorstep. So it was midnight whenever he came home. So that's where they get Orlando midnight. Oh, leave. okay. So, um, you know, it, it it was it was cool. It was a good experience. You know, did it me. feel like something smooth, like to go into, like something natural? The yeah, yeah, well, it, yeah. It was. It's like a it's a mixed martial arts film, but it also has real actors in it. They don't try and make the fighters act. You know, yeah. which which is cool with me. You know, yeah. um, the fighters did their part, which was to fight in the movie, right. and the actors did their part as far as acting in the movie. Yeah. And uh, you know, of course some of the actors had to play the role of a fighter too. Mm -hmm. So I uh, wish they did a really good job. Mm -hmm. We all worked together. It was a lot of fun. It was, you know, me, Nate Marquardt, uh, Eve Zellers, um, Kurt Angle was in it, mm -hmm. uh, Eric Apple was in it. You know, uh, it, it's just, it was really fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, I wouldn't take it back for the world. I, I loved it. It was yeah. so much It seems fun. like that would be yeah, a really was, exciting was, experience. It was really fun, but it's, man, I, you know, um, it, it, it was a long day, long process. Yeah. You know, we get up sometimes at 5, 6 in the morning and still don't get home till 8, 9 at night. We wow. would be on set all day and then half the time. You, you just like breaks between just, stuff? Or? Yeah, but, you know, they broke it up. Like one fight in my habit scene, but you'll do that scene for three or four hours with the same move. Oh, just to get just to the get, perfect, get perfect just uh -huh. to get it perfect so you wouldn't go in there and do your scene till probably I mean if I got there at six or seven I would probably wouldn't do my scene till six or seven that night oh. you know so we would be just sitting Waiting there and around. just be on the computer talking to yeah. everybody on set but it was pretty cool okay